know, finger detangling. Nobody likes to do it. You just need to take these tips and then I promise you it will change your life. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie, welcome. Today I'm getting into all the details on finger detangling. Y'all have probably seen in my other videos, I am always, always talking about finger detangling. It's one of my top tips in order to keep your curls nice and healthy and happy. So today I wanna to talk a little bit more in depth about it and give you all of my top tips that I do in order to make sure that the whole process is not a nightmare. I finger detangle on the regular, so I got all the tips, I got all the tea, and I wanna share all of it with you. But before we jump into all of that, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and you can also hit that notification bell if you want to get a notification every single time a new video drops all right so if you watched a couple of my videos y'all will hear me saying it all the time finger detangle finger detangle finger detangle it really has done wonders for my curls and any time that I've like kind of steered away and used like a brush or a comb it just is just not the same and my curls are just not as happy so one of the main reasons why finger detangling is better than using tools is that it's just so much more gentle. When you're finger detangling in your hair, you can literally feel the knots as you're going through. So when you feel those knots, it kind of forces you to like pause, be a little bit more gentle, separate the hair, and then continue going. On the opposite end, when you're using like a brush or a tool, it really kind of just encourages you to just keep on brushing straight through all of those knots and you can get a tendency especially if you're like me and you have no patience like you can end up getting really mad at your curls and just really upset and then damaging your curls in a way that you definitely don't want to being gentle to your curls is definitely something that will help to keep them very happy healthy you'll see less breakage and you'll also see less single strand knots so I actually did an entire video talking about single strand knots. If you want to check that out in more detail, I'll go ahead and tag it up here and it'll also be below in the description box. But basically when you're finger detangling, it's kind of just allowing your curls to detangle gently, yes, but then also kind of just remain in their natural curl pattern. Brushes like the Denman brush can kind of force your curls to curl up even more than they naturally would. And sometimes that can cause all kinds of issues. So this is why I'm always preaching to use these fingers instead. Once you're finger detangling regularly, like that's what your curls have been used to, you'll find that it's not that bad of a process. Now I will say that if you're coming off of using brushes 100% of the time and then you're going into finger detangling, for the first two to three washes you might find that it's a little bit difficult, but after a while your curls will be able to like revert back to their normal natural curl pattern and you'll find that it'll be easier and easier going forward. If you do have very like knotty, spirally, tangly kind of curls, you can try and instead of just washing once a week, do it twice a week. So that way you're detangling much more often and you'll find that you'll have less knots to deal with every single time you wash. So you could just pick your Wednesday and your Sunday and those be your two wash days. And for example, like your Wednesday doesn't need to be like that full on, full scale wash. It could just be rinsing out with a conditioner, detangling it a little bit, and then that's it. So that way you're not detangling out a full week's worth of curls, you're just detangling a full few days. So in terms of the actual process of finger detangling your curls, there are a few different things that you can do in order to make sure that the process is as smooth as possible. So first, I really like to make sure that my hair is soaking wet, I mean drenched, when I'm about to finger detangle. You definitely don't wanna try and tackle these knots while it's dry, because that is just asking for a hot mess. Then I start by sectioning out my hair. Usually if my hair is a little bit more knotty, I'll go ahead and section it out in thirds. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and grab a product that has lots of slip. For me here, I'm using the Maui Moisture Fortifying Hemp Seed Oil Conditioner. It is so bomb, honestly, this is really, really great if you have dry or brittle hair. When I'm applying the conditioner, I'm just using it with the palm of my hands. I'm not too worried about actually detangling yet. I'm just trying to get the product evenly distributed to this section. Once the product is evenly distributed, then that's when you're gonna go in and start finger detangling. So when I'm finger detangling, I always start by little sections within the big section that we've just sectioned out. So as you can see, I'm just kind of focusing on the side of my head first, and I also like to detangle from bottom up. So I always start with my ends and then work my way up. Detangling is a lot easier doing it that way. 
Once each little mini section has been fully detangled, I'm just gonna continue grabbing more and more hair and detangling really, really slowly until we've got the full section detangled. So I'm just sectioning out the middle section here. Again, same kind of process, gonna wet it back a little bit and then add some more conditioner and then go through and detangle in smaller sections. In the very middle patch of my hair, I always talk about this as well, I have like a dry patch, so I make sure to add a little extra product to that patch, because that's usually the hardest area for me to detangle so I make sure that I go in with the product that's another important point don't skimp on the products the more product you use the more slip your hair is gonna have which is the more easy it's gonna be for your fingers to just kind of glide through your hair whenever I'm hitting any knots you'll see that I'm kind of just stopping separating the hair a little bit gently working the hair out of each other to get rid of the knot and then I continue running my fingers through my hair so really I'm just focused on doing it bit by bit slowly but surely so the whole aim of the game here is patience this really all starts with a good mindset like that is definitely something you need on your wash day so pick a time when you're not having to rush, you don't have anything else really pressing to do that day, so you don't feel crunched for time. Put on your favorite music and start with a good mindset and make sure that you just have some patience to get through it. So really, it's just those same steps that I'm repeating over and over again for the final section again, going in smaller sections, detangling from the bottom up, and then that's it. Once you're all done, it is honestly the best feeling in the entire world. All right, so that is basically how I finger detangle my curls. Y'all know I like to keep things nice and simple and sweet to the point. I just really wanted to share this because it made a night and day difference in my curls. Seriously, if you guys want to hear my disaster story on the Denman brush after like repeated use, I'll link that up here and it'll also be in the description box below so you guys can check that out as well. But honestly, this is what my curls respond the best to. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're gonna go ahead and try it, or if you have tried it, go ahead and comment below, let me know. I'd love to hear from y'all. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so now, and then you can check out two more videos. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.